Louisville chapter of a national housing nonprofit for veterans is back home after a successful trip to the nation's capital. Good evening and thanks for joining us right here on 11 at 11. I'm Paulina Bootska. Well, Jesse Cohen spoke to leaders with the Veterans Association of Real Estate Professionals to learn about the recent efforts. She joins us now to explain how they're supporting those who put their lives on the line. Their 47 chapters across the country have joined forces before to successfully get things passed through the hill. So they are confident with work by all the chapters. They can sure do it again. The most recent that's currently on its way to the president's desk is the Blue Water Navy Act. This affects veterans who fought in Vietnam that were on ships but never touched land. So for whatever reason, because they never made landfall, they didn't get the medical and disability care that they deserve for the past 40 years. This act, once it's signed, will give them that benefit. The other thing this bill is doing is changing the game for VA home loans. Right now, there is a county limit requirement. What that means is a veteran can do X amount on price of a home with 0% down. But any dollar over that, they have to do a jumbo loan. This bill is going to remove that completely. So whatever the veteran can afford will come with that 0% down. But this was just the start for VA rep. Now they are looking to get veterans protection under the Fair Housing Act. That was put in place in 1968. Take a look at what this could mean for those who protect our country. There is no simple way to get back to life after war, especially when finding a place to call home isn't easy. We've seen statistics as high as 55% of homes listed on the market aren't able to be purchased by the veteran. That's a discriminatory act. But now a national housing nonprofit for veterans is trying to fix that by changing the Fair Housing Act. Uh, so that veterans would actually be included in that protected class. From Louisville to D.C., the local chapter traveled to talk about changing what's been in place since 1968. We had 235 meetings with members of Congress, so uh, all of those meetings, this was the largest single representation of VA reps since its inception uh, on the Hill. Discussing the realities veterans face, even right here in Louisville. He had some discriminatory landlord acts to where we ended up finding him months later in a homeless shelter. As hard as the problems are, VA rep says they have solutions. So I'm actually very encouraged that they finally come to a place where they can actually get those answers. VA rep cannot eliminate ve uh, veteran homelessness, but we can be a wedge with what we're good at. And they say that's financial literacy education, sustainable home ownership, and VA loan awareness. They say 30% of Afghanistan and Iraq veterans find themselves in financial disarray, and in 2016, 33% of veterans didn't know a VA loan option was available to them. Still, many not informed about the veteran loan benefit. But unfortunately, uh, those are not uh, presented uh, all the time, and it's not mandated that they do. This possible legislation could change that. I've sat with the people that make our rules and our laws, because I promise you there is a group of family, brothers and sisters that care about you. To be able to say that you are a protected class and that at no point can a lender or a seller or a buyer refuse to sell to you because you're a veteran uh, and to know that, you know, we played a small part in making that happen, um, I mean, it's just very heartwarming. Those with the VA rep say since they started just about a year ago, they have been most proud of the growing conversations about VA home loans and housing support. If you would like to reach out to the group, visit our website and click on this story for more information. I'm Jesse Cohen, 11 at 11.